very proud mother of a gay son, and he's here with me tonight, Bruce, in the front row. And I started PFLAG chapter in Seymour, Indiana, uh, 20 years ago. I missed rumors that I was a lesbian starting a gay <laughs> dance club called PFLAG. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was funny. My mother didn't, however. <laughs> um, PFLAG was a blessing uh, for my family. I think it saved uh, um, our family's lives. Uh, we were targeted in our community after uh, the minister outed my son when he was 14, and we got death threats. Uh, Bruce was tormented so much at school, I had to take him out of school and homeschool him. Um, watching this movie is very, um, I also want to say that LYG also saved my son's life, who uh, had a suicide plan at the age of 14. And I uh, uh, am a recovered homophobic person, and uh, my son led me down an incredible journey of breaking down walls between me and others. And I had a journey pretty similar to Mary's. Um, but I just let uh, my experience of my son speak to me. And I remember when I was crying just like Mary and wondering about um, my religion and my faith and how I could reconcile all of that together. I remember staring in the mirror looking at it haggard woman who'd not been sleeping and crying all the time. And I heard a whisper in my soul that said, the reason why you're suffering so much is that you're putting that hateful stereotype on your son. Instead, you need to put the beloved face of your son on the gay community. After all, you know you've had the experience of your son and let that experience of your son speak to you. And that experience of my son, from the first day that I held him, I counted his fingers and toes, and my heart declared him precious and perfect. And I remembered that, and I never cried another tear that my son was gay.